Welcome to Caveman Bricks Builds and More. I am the Caveman. This is Dragon J Boy Gaming. Today we are continuing on with our build of Diagon Alley. Um, the first instruction book we built, uh, Ollivander's Wand Shop and then uh, Scribulous Scribe Supplies. We are now on to book two. We're about halfway done with it. We have bag eight and bag nine to be done with the second building that so is, this is bag seven bag eight um and we're going to be doing this is quality quidditch supplies and the daily profit office and of this one this much of it is quality quidditch supplies and this much of it is um the daily profit office i think what we're going to do today is we're going to add on a large part of the second level of both of these buildings i see a lot of pink bricks in our bag eight and I know that the top part of this is almost all pink on the front. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. Yeah. So um, we have bag eight and bag nine of book two left. And then we will be done with the second building. And Judah was looking at them kind of side by side here and noticing that um, if you add two more of these on, it's going to go to about here. And so it's going to be pretty long. I don't know if it's longer than Hogwarts was. Probably longer, but definitely not bigger. Like they're not Hogwarts, very wide and they're not very tall. Hogwarts was about um probably three or just the two of these. Yeah. Um, what's funny though is that Hogwarts was not minifigure size and that this is minifigure size. Imagine how huge Hogwarts would be if it was. Maybe. However, we have the first strong rumor of an expansion set coming out for this. So we may get some new shops and buildings soon. That's what I was saying. Uh, we were thinking of some buildings that they should add in the expansion pack. Yeah. So, so it sounds like we are definitely going to get an expansion set. Oh, wait. I think it goes like this, actually. You think so? Yeah, I don't because, think so. But look, it would cover... Oh, but that... Yeah, no, I think cover. it goes the other way. That would be cover up no matter what we do. Okay. All right. So I'm just Let's gonna, go ahead and move this out of the side over here. I'm just going to make a list of the places that should be added on in the expansion pack. That I think I've got all the bags opened up. There was two smaller bags inside the big bag. I do see a spider. I'm wondering if that's going to go in the daily profit office because not a whole lot's going on in there. And I do see minifigure legs. Oh, it looks like a Ravenclaw torso. How cool. Wait, we're... we're ha Hey! Don't you dare steal the Hufflepuff spotlight! <laughs> um, this would be the very first time that we've ever gotten anything except for um, Slytherin, and, Slytherin and, Gryffindor. and Gryffindor pieces for Quidditch. If it was possible to get enough of these, we can actually have, you know, set up a scene of Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw. And... Oh, like we could get... Like, maybe we could, like, get, like, some of, like, the suits and, like, wait, that are we getting any minifigures in this bag? No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Because I think we don't get our next minifigure until bag nine. Because, like, like, think about it. If we got all the Quidditch, we could, like, change them out at our Quidditch court. Yes. So we could have, like, different people playing. Yes. Now, I do happen to know that next month in February, they are releasing a new book that has a Cedric Diggory um, minifigure in it, and he's wearing his Quidditch uniform. So that will be Ooh. another Hufflepuff uniform. Hey, Cedric. That has um, some more Harry Potter, so we're going to be doing, um, what is it, minifigure part what? Uh, five, maybe, you know, four or five. I think it's part four, because, yeah, our last one was part three, I believe. Uh, I think it was part four. And I also believe part three was the part that we, um, 
that we did the 1,000 subscribe um like challenge. Mm, maybe. Um, and that's basically if we got to a thousand likes, we would do a Lego Dimensions gameplay. Okay. And the reason why I got that idea was because we got some Lego Dimension things for mm. Lego Minifigures Part Three, and that inspired me. Yeah. So Should part. I, I think. I think that was part three, but we did do a part four. Hey, hey, Dad. Yes. Speaking of, remember our ten, our ten likes challenge where we would do Harry Potter the Completed Collection. Uh huh. Um. Have have you come? Have we gone into our like goal to do it? Not today? yet. So guys, go check out, wait, what's the video? I don't remember. Well then, let's do a, any video. Okay, if any video gets 10 likes, we'll do what? Le uh, like Lego Harry Potter complete collection gameplay on our Nintendo Switch. Oh, uh, okay. So he's talking about the Lego Harry Potter game. Yes. And we'll start doing some gameplay on the Nintendo Switch. And it is Lego Harry Potter, which is basically what our channel is based yes. off of. So it's technically appropriate yes. for our to do on our channel. You're correct. Okay. So I think we already reached our like goal, though, like a long time ago. I don't think so. I'm pretty I'm sure one of our video has around 13 likes. Hmm. I'll say if any video that's not out yet or what? that doesn't have 10 likes yet gets to 10 likes. Wait, that wasn't out by the video release? No, no, no. I'm just saying any video that doesn't already have 10 likes. By now? By now that will get to 10 likes and we'll start doing the gameplay. That will take forever. Not very popular. So guys, please like any video. Video like like the the like the Diagon Alley video where like we um did this challenge so we can get to the ten like goal. Oh wait, we're already at. <laughs> How about this? Because I'm pretty sure that none of the videos back when we said the goal have reached 10 likes yet i think they're about nine likes um we'll count okay okay because that's the day that we actually started the challenge so i think it only seems fair okay but anyways uh hey dad what do you think buildings are going to be added in the expansion pack besides green gods because we obviously are expecting a green god i am expecting a green gods um i don't know what else they might include i think they might include a small nocturne alley maybe i think that there is on the last one of this like an entrance to nocturne alley so that would make sense um I'm trying to think what other kind of shops there are. Um, there's a um, pet shop that I think is called like a menagerie. Um, what about the uh, bookshop? Oh, the Leaky the Cauldron. The bookshop we do get. The Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron is what I want. I don't know if they will include it. They should like add it to this, the front. So it's like... Like, they have, like, the door. Yeah. Um, but the I, one that I know of that would be really cool is the the pet shop where everyone gets, like, their owl or their oh, cat. Oh, they should have put our headweeds in there. Yeah. They should have cats and rats. They should also have um, Hogsmeade in the expansion. Oh, wait, that's not part of it. No, that's a different place. Um. So wait, Dad, let me ask you this. So does, is Diagon Alley just its own separate place? Based from the train station? 
Yes, the train station and Diagon Alley are not next to each other. Wait, isn't Platform 9 and... I'm so confused about Platform. How have Muggles not figured it out, though? Because Muggles only see what they want. According to Hagrid? According to a lot of people. Maybe they should include, like, the beverage shop. Maybe. I'm pretty sure they had a beverage shop in Diagon Alley. I don't right? remember that. No. That's kind of the the place that's the entrance. The ice cream shop? No. What's the name of the little place that has the brick wall behind it? Leaky Cauldron? The Leaky Cauldron. Yeah. It would be cool to include a Leaky Cauldron. Yep. Um, there's definitely a shop where you can get your, um, oh man, my memory is failing me today. The places where you get your cauldrons. Leaky cauldron no. inside of, wait, how cool would that be? A, a leaky cauldron inside of, of Diagon Alley. And no. so basically that's like where all the muggles hide, like, they know about the wizarding world and everything and go there to hide. That would be weird. And it's a secret technology code. Yeah. Oh, that lets them in because wizards normally don't understand technology. Yeah. Especially pure bloods. Okay. We're going to put sticker B8 on here for the daily profit sign. Do a good job with this sticker. They should add a Boggart and Bops. What is that? It's the shop that Harry and the Ron and Hermione go and they figure out that people are trying the people are trying to kill Dumbledore and um um Half Blood Prince, remember? Okay, that's Burger yes, it's not called Boggarts, it's called um, Burgerts. Yeah, I don't remember. Burgers, burgers and bops? I remember it being something in pops, okay? Not bobs. Bogs. Bogs. Something in bogs. But they should add that one for sure. Right? If they do a Nocturne Alley part, then yes. Okay. Now we got a cool Daily Profit door. What, um, wait, is there a place where people get their, um, slaves? The, um, the elves, house elves? Oh, I don't know. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Trying to think of what else I remember there being in the in Diagon Alley. That we don't already have. Yeah. Um, um like an actual like quibblers or a No, Quibblers is not in Diagon Alley. Then oh, an actual daily profit station and not just like that shaggy corner. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. Like an actual spot. Hey, I just realized without the quill shop, there is no daily profit, right? Maybe. Because yeah. they can't write anything without the quill shop. So mm -hmm. why don't we nuke the quill shop? Why would you do that? So daily profit will never don't exist anymore. I don't know about that. Because Quibbler probably uses another writing thing. No, I think they all use quills. Wait, what? They all use a 
Scribulus. Well, I don't know if they all buy their quills from Scribulus, yeah, but yeah, they all use I'm quills. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking no. about, Scribulus. Well, if Scribulus didn't exist, then the day would probably just buy their quills from wherever the Quibblers buying their quills. But Quibblers is so unpopular, they wouldn't know where they got it from. Well, but there's going to be another quill shop somewhere. Then we'll just nuke it again. So Daily Coffee can never exist. Okay. I feel like this is the wrong color and it is. What is wrong? This. Oh, that one. Cool. Now that right color. Okay. Turn this around here. I have blue nose. And now we're going to start adding all the pink. Which is Judah's favorite color in Harry Potter. That because what color, devil. what, what, uh, what character is associated with pink? The devil. What's her name? Do you remember? I don't even want to say it, but Flores Umbridge. Dolores. Flores. Um, what's weird is this pink has proven to be very unpopular among the Lego Harry Pop Potter community, and most people have been changing it out for uh, maroon bricks. That sounds more like that color, especially because of this part. Like, this is maroon, but why is it pink? It doesn't match. Oh my word, my eyes, they're so weird together. Right? It is a little odd. We'll say that. But I'm they must have picked the color based off of something that the they movie? that's in the movie or that's in the book or that JK Rowling maybe told them. It's the only thing I can think of as to why they would use pink. JK Rowling com commands all the um Wizarding world. Yeah. world. She is beyond the Ministry of Magic. The president. Wait, who's the president of magic? Um, I don't remember her name. Wait, there's some. There's like a emperor of magic? No. Each country just has its own Ministry of Magic. So in America, we have a president instead of a minister. Mm. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. So does that mean, wait, that means there's like a, well, yeah, it's like Manticore in the U.S., right? Something like that. I can never get these straight. That's what, like, the ministry version you know, of, uh, the America version of the Ministry of Magic is. Yeah. Hey, Dad, was that girl, um, remember that chef girl? Chef girl. Yeah, the chef girl who asked who Harry Potter was. Oh, the waitress? Yeah. Was she important in any way? No. Oh, uh, then why was she there? Um, just to show Harry out in the real world. Reading a uh, Wizarding World magazine. He was reading uh, the Daily Prophet. I'm flying through the subway. Through the subway? I'm flying through the subway. I don't know about a subway, but okay. This is a subway. It's a magical above ground subway. That's... But speeding through the alley, going through... Believe it or not, I actually feel like 
We're close to being done. What? Dad, how could you even say that? Well, there are literally a million pieces in front of you right now. Really? And you say you're basically done? You're almost done? That's what I feel like. What? And you've just begun. This is all you have. Well, I have a whole lot more than I did when I started. Oh, do you mean done with the book? No. Uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. You, you've done saying that. Okay. Oh, doing the boots with myself? Hedwig, Hedwig, I want to do loop de loops. Oh. Are you all ready to do loop de loops? Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Whoa, that ear curl is so strong. So I hope now that they've made the Quidditch pieces for both Ravenclaw and... Her, maybe in the next build we'll get like a Slytherin and a Gryffindor. Dad. Maybe. But I just, I was just saying, I'm hope we, hopefully we get more characters wearing those so they become easier to find so that we can make a cool Quidditch match. With yeah, we could have like an entire team of like another one. Yeah, because we have an entire team of Ravenclaw and, or not Ravenclaw, of Gryffindor Slytherin and, and Slytherin. Slytherin. Yeah. But we don't have one of a, a, so it will be nice. Yeah. I could be on the Quidditch team. I could have like my regular Regular wizarding clothes when I'm being taught by Dumbledore. Yeah. What maybe what they'll do is they'll release it in a blister pack like the student blister ones. Blister pack? Yeah. What's a blister pack? You know the thing that we got the student parts in? Student parts? Yep. Yeah. Like where you got the pieces to make yourself. Oh right. Why did you buy an extra one though? Was it just for what I was I I did to mine? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yep. That's cool. So you can make something of yourself and so can Mom and Micah? Yep. The one by one studs are not being nice to me today. Okay, Nessa. Can I see? Maybe they'll be nicer to me. Maybe. Not like they have feelings or anything. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. So how could they be mean to you? They just don't <gasps> line up. I didn't drop it! Gerbil on the run! Gerbil on the run! Oh, this isn't a gerbil. <laughs> I'm going to guess some windows are going to go in here. Yeah. Or maybe those are display cases and windows are going to go in front of them. Maybe. Okay. Definitely building up a upper level though. But, but still not as tall as this because I am What? Something something is taller than I need to take this down. I need to take this down. Uh, are you going to remember nothing. where those go? Yes. Okay. Now nothing is taller than that. But nothing I say. Nothing. Okay. Woo. Oh, wow. Hedwig, you fell for it. <laughs> oh. oh. What? Oh, interesting. What? We are going to put a giant spider web at the top of the Daily Profit office. What? No. A spider web? No. Well, I guess it does deserve it. Right? I guess so. But it deserves spider webs. Daily Profit. <gasps> no, I want to be Spider-Man. 
It would be cool if one of Spider-Man's powers was to talk to spiders. That would be interesting. So, so he could like send like spiders and gather information. You know. I would make his job a little easier than it is, right? Yeah. Why do you think that the power is to talk to snakes and not to animals? Like, do you think that there are people in the Harry Potter universe that can talk to other animals? Well, it's because the the power originated in Slytherin, and their sign is a serpent. Right, but I think the reason why he picked a serpent is because he could talk to them. Because he was a partial type. Yes. So, do you think there's like a... Someone that can talk to horses, or... A badger tongue? Badger no. tongue. Yeah, that would be interesting, right? What do you want to... Badgers are really aggressive. They're stronger than lions. I don't know about they strong, are. but they yeah. are really aggressive. Okay, I think we're building a bookcase. Oh, it's closed. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know how you couldn't tell that. It was obviously closed, Dad. How could you not have figured that out? I don't know. Not that. Why do you think I laughed? And have you ever seen a piece like this? Uh, no. Not like that. How about a piece like this? Yes. <laughs> I have never seen a piece like this. You caught me. Have you ever seen a piece like this stuff? Yes. How do you know? Just do. Okay, fine, you caught me. Seriously, have you seen a piece piece like this guy's? Like what even is this? Am I right? Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Show it to the camera so they can actually see it. There you go. It's like a it's like those little like cookie bar things that I use to eat. Mmm, yeah. We got Nilla wafer. I don't remember what they're called, but oh, they're wait, actually... for babies. No. Okay. No, it's like a cookie thing, a graham cracker thing. Have you ever seen a piece like this, Dad? Yes. I never, how? I've seen 10 times different more Lego pieces than you. Okay. How do, have you seen it? Just that good, I guess. Have you ever seen a piece like... Like this? If yes. it was one piece, Dad? Uh, not if it was one piece, no. What if this was one piece? No. What if this was one piece? No. What if this, what if the elephant was one now, piece? Now, here's the problem. No one can see what you're doing. So, basically, I'm taking these two pieces and turning it into different shapes like this elephant. Then crumble, pop. It never existed. <laughs> Dad, if this was one piece, have you ever seen anything like this before? I'm gonna go with no. Zoom in. <laughs> okay, we got a nice, cool stack of Quidditch uniforms. Oh, I see that. It's gonna go up there. Please tell me we're almost done. I told you that a while ago. <laughs> when there were a million pieces. No. Oh, there still are a million pieces.
We're getting there. Whoa, can you grab that piece that I just rocketed off? Judah, where's the other? Can I have that piece, please? Thank you. Okay, I think I got everything. Oh, we're going to have a trunk. We're going to put a bat. Like you know? No. <laughs> oh, sorry, my dog. Okay, and in it we're gonna take this telescope, put this little thing on it. We're gonna take these two things. for the Ravenclaw Quidditch guy. I'm just going to shut my eyes and whenever you're almost done, tell me, me so I can open. Like, tell me when there's only like a couple pieces left. Right. I want to see. No, I don't want to see. I don't want to see until it's basically done. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't use the wrong piece somewhere. Jude, I need your help. I need another one of these, and I don't see it. Maybe you all put I have it... left is a gray. How about maybe you put it on somewhere wrong? Well, I'm looking. I'm trying to see extra pieces. Where? Are... Oh, right here. I see it. <laughs> oh god! It was in your hand, wasn't it? Nope. It was in this window thing. It's gonna go right here. That's so cool. All right. Pause. Judas, stop it. Stop it. Sorry. It's not funny. I'm trying to get you to stop and you're still going. Um, okay. Look, we're almost done, okay? okay. It hadn't even been that long. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, so we got the Ravenclaw guy in. Ooh, pedestal. I'm hopping into a Ravenclaw suit. Wait, what um, what house was this guy? Ollivander. I don't know. They don't really talk about the adult houses. Um, adult houses. Like the adult, what houses the adults were in? Like Dumbledore. Right. Dumbledore, we can pretty much assume was uh, Gryffindor. How do you know he probably was a Slytherin? No, I'm fairly certain he was a Gryffindor. He talks about um. Being in the Gryffindor dormitories and things like that. Or maybe he was head boy and he was trying to keep things in order. Yeah. No, he talks about when he was a student. I know. He, he, was probably, he could have been a head boy when he was a student. Okay, but head boy doesn't go into other dormitories. To make sure things are in order? No. Ooh, this is a cool sign. What does it say? 
Feel free to test fly any of our brooms. Okay, I'm just gonna steal that broom then. Where's the broom? I need to steal the broom. Where's the broom? Hang on. Okay. Turn it this way. I don't know why I just did that. This way? No, definitely. This way. Okay. Brown broom. I can't wait to get a bookshop. Yeah, that'll be cool, huh? Yeah, so we can finally put Hermione somewhere useful. Right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's snowing though. Sorry, I we just barely get snow in Texas. This is true. It snows like every like ten years. Yes. Oh, I'm just gonna steal this one and be on my way. Bye. <laughs> Would be cool to be able to fly a broom, huh? For free. Hey, I'm test flying a broom. Uh, I'm just kidding. I bought. Yeah, maybe this that's one. what Harry's I doing. No, I bought this one. Oh, okay. That's not Harry. That's me. Oh. Remember? Yes. That's me. Okay. That's me from a long time ago. So, so guys, I, I don't now know you about you, see. but whenever I saw Half-Blood Prince and watched to the end, it got so emotional for me. No. I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to. Because you just sad in you. And if you guys haven't watched it, uh, you, if, unless if you want to spoil it, cover your ears. Dumbledore dies. Dumbledore dies. Okay, you can unplug your ears now. You can unplug ears. I imagine most people have seen it by now. Why? How do you know? Have you been seriously stalking people on Instagram, Dad? Uh, no. <laughs> nice excuse. Okay, so these are extra pieces. Weird little extra pieces. I don't know where we even use those. Oh, but I love you. Oh, right here. Oh, you're right. Okay. All right, so here is the end of bag eight, and we only have bag nine left to finish Ooh. this building off, but we did start adding on to the second floor. We've got a big spider up here. We've got a Ravenclaw guy. We've got a book display and a trunk, and we got more uniforms. Well, technically the spider's part of this. Yes, it's part of the Daily Profit, um, but pretty cool. Can't wait to finish this next time, but until then, happy building. Happy building, everyone.